Maybe a push in the back by Ferguson, but Hutchison's on his way. Push back there, Powell turns the net, goal given. Barry Powell has put to commentary ahead. But there's got to be a question mark about that push in the back by Mick Ferguson that gave Coventry possession just outside the box. From that, Tommy Hutchison went on, crossed it back from the byline, and Barry Powell has put Coventry into the lead with 25 minutes gone. Chelsea nil, Coventry City one. Yours. Lewington on Flangley. No foul there. Harris. Holton went to sleep there for a moment, finished and got in. And here go Coventry with Powell. Braden. Well, Coventry, manager Gordon uh, Milne on the right of the picture there. Last five minutes of the first half, Coventry leading a goal to nil. Coop with the free kick. Ferguson again winning it in the air. Oh, a great job and a turn there by Wallace and number two. A mistake really by Phillips. But again, the unselfish Ferguson getting up well, nodding it down. And what a tremendous shot on the turn there by young Ian Wallace. I've got a feeling that uh, John Phillips will be annoyed for not quite grabbing that one. Back of the net. Chelsea nil, Coventry two. Hutchison. Oh, pulled back nicely, but Harris was there. Good. Harris again. Where are Chelsea going to find their inspiration? Oh, not like that. Well, I suppose it's Ray Wilkins more than anybody that you would look to now. And, uh, I don't know whether he just had a trot across to the bench there. He came running from that direction. Whether he's got a word from uh, Ken Shelley or not, I don't know. Perhaps to uh, change one or two things around. Certainly in the 21 minutes that remain, Ken Shelley and Chelsea have got to find something. Well, here's Lang. Perhaps he'll find something. Stanley. Coventry have got a lock back. Oh, and he hit the post! Well, that was a terrible break for Chelsea, just when they wanted something uh, going their way. A good move, sweeping across to the left-hand side. Gary Stanley, a man with a powerful shot, hitting it hard and low, beating the keeper, but not the post.
Wilkins. And Lewington, he might fall for him. Blythe is right out. And we have open goal and the score. Well, the ball planted through there. Suddenly had Coventry in trouble. Lewington, it seemed, might have a chance and they didn't quite materialise for him, but the ball then found with Blythe stranded, it fell to Langley, and although there were a couple of Coventry defenders there, they couldn't stop it going into the net. Chelsea 1, Coventry 2, Tommy Langley, Coventry who for so long appeared in very little danger, might be made to waver a little bit. Here's Powell, and here's Yorath. The long cross to the far side towards Ferguson. Oh, and he's lost it. And Graydon has hammered it into the side netting with a whistle of gone. A push on the keeper. There's a push on the keeper. Sparrow for Chelsea. because they've defended so well for so long. But now they're facing also a Chelsea side that can see a ray of hope. Now, can Lewington and Wilkins between them contrive something here? Wilkins playing it off there for Stanley. Hit low and straight at the keeper. Well, that's a free kick situation that Chelsea have employed before and they've employed it successfully before. The touch that goes to Wilkins and then the touch on for Stanley. At that time, straight at Jim Blythe. from the crowd behind the lines on the far side. But, uh, it certainly looked offside. Harris. Ricks. A little short this time for Lock. And Coventry go through. Some uh, really brilliant running there by Ian Wallace. 